All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon and welcome to the November 2nd Wednesday webinars put on by the Dibble Institute. Uh, this is Kay Reed and we're thrilled to have all of you here as we start going under the hood of our newest way of uh, disseminating curricula and that is in a digital format. So today we're here to talk about Dibble Goes Digital. Let me tell this is me, Kay Reed, the executive director, and Aaron, our digital coordinator. He's been uh, working under the hood for the last year, getting this all tuned up. Aaron, hello, Aaron. Hi, Kay. So we'll uh, get going here. Little webinar information. If you can't access audio through your computer, you can use your phone, and the information's here on the screen. It's also in the email confirmation you were sent. Uh, while we are muting your uh, you know, voice, we do want you to participate. Uh, there's a question box uh, in your GoToWebinar control panel. We're going to ask you to raise your hands. We're going to ask you poll questions and love to have you participate. At the end of this session, we're recording it. We will archive it on our website so you and others I can go back to it and refer to it. Some of you who are on this webinar are here because you want to bring the information back to your organizations, and this is a great way to bring it back. So we'll, we're going to start with a show of hands. How many of you have ever attended a Dibble webinar before? So raise your hand if you have attended a Dibble webinar. Oh, I see the hands going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of you. So not quite um, more people. This is your first webinar, so we're thrilled to have you here. Welcome. And for those of you who are returning, uh, we're happy to have you back as well. A second show of hands is, who wrong way? Um, ha are you currently teaching or using Dibble materials in your programs? So how many of you currently use our materials and how many of you are, are not quite there yet? Okay, so most of you are new to Dibble. So again, welcome to those of you who, who know about us and have used our program successfully and welcome to all of you who have not. That's great. When we looked at the preliminary information about who was attending this webinar, many of you said that one of the reasons you were is you wanted to know more about Dibble. So I'm going to spend a little more time than normal on that part uh, just because we want to orient all the folks who are here. People often ask us about our name, Dibble, and it is, we are named after our founders. This is Helen and Charlie Dibble. Charlie was an engineer by trade, a fix-it kind of guy. He was an um, electrical engineer who worked on jet engines. When he retired, he retired into Redlands, California, where I was growing up, and started doing a lot of work with youth. In the process of doing that, he started to observe how when his young friend's parents' marriages became rocky or dissolved, the impact it had on them. You could see this, this downward trend, which he wasn't happy with. And then in the mid-80s, at his great niece's wedding, so imagine a fluffy young bride, and he says something to her on her wedding day, and she says back to him, oh, don't worry, Uncle Charlie, it's just my first wedding. So some of you might just be gasping there. Many people do when we tell the story, because Charlie said, this is a problem that needs fixing, and okay, I'll, I'll start fixing it. So he called the leading researchers of the day in the 80s. There was just starting to be good research done on marriage and family life. And he was able to talk to David Olson up at the University of Minnesota, Howard Markman down at the University of Denver. And they could go on and on about what made for successful, long-lasting uh, relationships, marriages, and strong families. But when he asked them, what are you doing for young people? They would just shrug their shoulders and say, you know, it's hard getting to young people. So what Charlie realized was that the gap was that we needed a way to take the practice or the research of these 
uh, that was coming out in the field and make it practical, make it applicable, and be able to get that to the people who could get it out into the field. So taking research and developing products that others could teach, that's what he, that was his vision for what we could do and how we could contribute to the world. So in the late 90s, we started that work while Charlie was alive in the early 90s. He passed away. And by the late 90s, we had uh, already published a, a few programs. We had started doing evaluations. By the late 90s, we were incorporated. And the Dibble Institute now is a national independent nonprofit. Our programs are used all around the country and around the world. Last year, our conservative estimate when we uh, look at what we sold last year is that our programs conservatively reached 200,000 young people. And that doesn't count the teachers who you know, were teaching from the year before and the year before and the year before. So we're very pleased that we can really get Charlie's vision out there where all young people are developing the skills and knowledge or learning the skills and knowledge they need to, to develop healthy, romantic lives now in, and into the future. Let's talk a little bit about our core beliefs. So while the Dibble Institute is very much all about strong families and healthy relationships uh, and marriages, uh, we absolutely understand that and agree that if a marriage or relationship is abusive of self, of others, of substances, or violent, that would be better if that relationship or, or marriage dissolved. The kids would be safer, and we're all about impacts on children. So this isn't, we aren't about marriage at all costs. We're all about healthy marriages. Secondly, uh, we mean absolutely no disrespect to the countless single parents who are doing heroic work every day to raise their children. You know, there's lots of amazing work going on. But even they would, and when we ask them, and I've read in research as well, they often will say, it's tough being a single parent. You know, it's tough financially, it's tough emotionally, it's tough to be the only one there for your kids. Wish there was another one I could I could share this with. And I hope it's different for my own kids. So we mean, um, so lots of respect to single parents, but even they would like it different, often would like it different. And lastly, um, we often get asked about how, how our materials work with gay and lesbian populations. And the answer is really quite simple. All young people need to be treated with respect and all relationships can be improved with relationship skills. So we have no agenda one way or the other. Uh, we just make it so our materials are inclusive so that they can be taught in many, many settings. And we do see them taught in many, many settings, which makes us quite happy. <clears throat> so here we go. Dibble goes digital. Uh, you asked and we delivered. We now are, we've been announcing over the last few weeks that not only do we have all our, all our materials in a traditional print format, but we also have our materials available online. And that's what we're here to talk about today. The three things we want to go over is why did we shift? What was the need? What were we responding to? That's what I'll talk about. Aaron's here. He's going to take you through the online platform live. What does it look like? What are the benefits? And then drill down into the how, how the online lessons work. So you can see how that works. And then uh, for those of you who stay through the end of this webinar, and do the survey, we have a, um, a special offer of a 30-day free trial of, the, um, <clears throat> of anything you want from our bookshelf, our digital bookshelf. So uh, if, if you think that's a bribe, it is. <laughs> anyway, we want you to stick around, and we're happy uh, to give you a free review copy for a 30-day for a 30 uh, 30 time period. Okay, so why did we shift? Well, it's, it's pretty obvious that all of us, not just schools, are moving from print to online. Uh, you know, I used to buy reams and reams of paper for the office, and now, you know, not so much. We hardly, you know, we just send emails around and things get stored in our computers. On this particular topic, what came to my attention was two years ago, I was at a community meeting here. I live in, in, uh, just north of Berkeley, California, in the West Contra Costa Unified School District. And 
we had someone from their school board come to a community meeting and he said, in two years, we will no longer be buying print materials. We will be only using online textbooks for our teachers and our students. And what got my attention is this particular school district includes Richmond, California. And for those of you who know, you know, have heard about that, Richmond is an extremely poor, very, very violent. I mean, it's, it's a really hard place to grow up. It's a very poor school district. So when I heard that this school district of which I'm part of was going with <clears throat> digital materials, and it's one of the very poorest districts in the nation, it, made, it got my attention. Secondly, Los Angeles Unified School District um, is starting to roll out a multi-year plan to get all of their students from kindergarten to 12th graders iPads. And you should know that there are 69,000 ninth graders <laughs> in the school district. So it's a huge district serving hundreds of thousands of young people. Um, and their plan is to go completely digital. It, it's had its, it's, had its um, ups and downs, but they're still rolling it out. And lastly, uh, our materials are in 85% of the classrooms in the high schools of Oklahoma, thanks to the Oklahoma Marriage Project, who work with Oklahoma family and consumer science teachers. And the state of Oklahoma Department of Education has goals, technology goals for its teachers to continually move into the world of technology and have their students move into the world of technology. And they came to us and said, we are really not going to be able to use print materials. We need them digital. So that's those are what we were hearing, along with stories from not just schools, but people who are working in community organizations and in other settings that it would be much easier, more convenient if I could just have all this material on, on my digital device. So that's how we, we uh, st started down this road. If Patty Rambo is listening in on this, I want to shout out to her a big thanks. Patty is the director of the Texas uh, Technology, uh, Texas Tech Curriculum Center for Family and Consumer Sciences. Uh, Patty is the one who introduced me to the engine that runs the Dibble Digital website or Digi Dibble Digital, and that is TISRA. So TISRA is what's under the hood. Uh, Texas Tech uses it as well as some other uh, locations and, and organizations and schools that you can see on this, on this uh, slide. We're in good company. Why this is important to you is it's a solid, it's, it's a, um, solid platform. They've been around for five or six years, which is in technology time, you know, nearly ancient. But, you know, it, it's reassuring to know we have a good solid partner here and they're going to keep upgrading the program and the materials. We're going to be uh, putting our things on top of that. And so, you know, they'll be there when you need, when you open it up and you need to get to Dib Dibble Digital. Uh, TISRA is what's going to make it possible for you to get there. So you know, we really like the platform we've selected. And as we have been experimenting with this and rolling it out gradually, the LA Unified School District is now using it, the state of Oklahoma is using it, and we've been working with individuals, but now you're part of a larger rollout. Uh, this is what we're hearing from, from teachers and students, that you know it's a really user-friendly platform. You don't have to download new software. It's whatever browser you're currently using is perfect for this, whatever device you're currently using. It could be a Mac a PC, a tablet, your phone, just it's easy, easy, easy to do that way. It's portable. It's as portable as the electronic gadget you're using. Again, we said paperless. Organized. Everything for the each lesson is in the lesson that you'll see. And Aaron will show you this in more detail, but it means that you're not going to lose the CD. You'll always have your PowerPoints. The student handouts will be there. Uh, links. Uh, the next thing we have are live links. So if there's a link into YouTube or to a special a website to illustrate a point for students, those links are already there for you and live. Once you have access to a program, you're able to search in it. So if you think, oh, where, did, where was that lesson on dating violence or breaking up or uh, personality, you can search and it'll take you right there. Most interesting about what <laughs> what is different from paper than than digital is with digital, we're able to come in the back door 
and continually refresh and update the information in the lesson. You know, we can't crawl through the phone and go into your binder and, and write new notes. But on this, we're going to be able to go in and we plan to every year or two to make sure all the references are up to date. And, um, and as we find out new things, we'll put them in the, in the curriculum. So it's a great way to keep up to date. And it's affordable. Um, this means this platform allows us to sell some lessons that are especially new or on a new topic, like we have a teens and technology lesson. We can sell that by itself. Uh, we also have one-year subscription, three-year subscriptions, variety of pricing options to fit a variety of budgets. And so we that's one of our key um, missions is to keep things affordable for teachers. And we think that by doing it this way, it, it is it, it affords that affordability and keeping everything easy for the teacher to use. So let me start. Aaron's going to go next, but I'm going to do a poll before he starts. Um, So there's a poll in progress, and it is, do you, currently, do you currently use your computer to teach from? I know we wrote, we wrote a, do you access lesson plans to teach? <clears throat> I'm interested, do you sit there with the, your laptop open and you're teaching from your laptop or your tablet? Okay. So, mo well, we're still, we're still voting. So... But it looks like the preponderance of teacher of, of people on the call today do not use their digital device to teach from. It looks like 8% do and 90% do not. Let me throw up these. Um, let's see. So I, th I think you can see the poll results that most people are not using a, an online or not using teaching from their computer. So that's really good for us to know because that's what this is all about is the ability to um, teach from your computer. So Aaron, let me turn over the controls to you. And just, Kay, while you're doing that, I think also, how do we phrase the question a little bit differently? We might have got a little bit different of a response, and that is, do you use your tablet or do you use your computer in helping you to prep? And my guess is probably almost everyone uses their either their computer or their tablet in one way or another um, That's to, true. to help prep for, for some of their teaching. And as, as time continues to go by each year, it's probably... These numbers, if I were to guess, probably in five to ten years, those numbers are going to be swapped. Right, right, true. So, Aaron, are you sharing? So, anytime you can share your screen. Um, uh, I think, well, I'm going to go ahead and. So, I think you need to uh, say change the presenter and then you change it to me because I'm not able to show my screen yet. Okay, you know what? Let me get out of the poll. Yeah, that might be it. That yeah, actually okay. might be what it was. Okay, there we go. Sorry for those of you who <laughs> are, are very capable, usual webinar presenters are listening in. And there we go. Now it's coming. Okay, are... show my screen. Okay. Yep. So, so you should be able to, to see my screen, which is the Dibble Home, the Dibble Home page. And uh, so for me, I'm super excited to be on today because in a way it kind of feels like uh, an open house where I've been working on this house for the last year and finally I get to show it to somebody. And so I'm very grateful for all of you who have taken the time today to, to take this tour with me of our Dibble Digital. And so the first question would be is how do you find it? Where can you find Dibble Digital? And so if you go to our homepage, at least for the next month or so, you're going to be able to access it by just clicking on the Dibble Goes Digital. But eventually we'll replace this top part with something else, and then you're going to need to find you're need, you're going to need to have a way of hey I remember that that cool digital stuff that they have how do I access it Well, we have a couple of ways that you'll be able to do that. The first is when you go to our programs. So for example, if you're looking at the Relationship Smarts Plus program, everywhere that you see this purple logo that says available at Dibble Digital, well if you click on that then what it does is it takes you directly to our Dibble Digital um, page for that particular program. 
in addition there's another way that you will be able to uh, access it and that is if you go to uh, here our bookstore what we've done is we've now divided our bookstore into two different um, pieces the first is the digital and then the second is print because obviously print is still going to be with us for many many years to come we're not shutting down the printing presses we're not going strictly digital but we did want to give it as an option to people who who are excited and who are ready to take that plunge so you'll always be able to click on the bookstore then click on digital and then that takes you to our main digital um, uh, landing page and with that what we've done is we've actually divided it into four main sections so we've got our curricula which are all the main programs that you're familiar with so the connections programs the relationship smarts plus money habitudes etc then we also have our activity books so anything that is mainly just activities so the skill sets the hip-hop dating guide things to know before you say go those are now available digitally as well and then as Kate was talking about what we are super excited about with this whole digital platform is it allows us to pull out of some of our some of our programs specific lessons so for example the teens of technology and social media lesson is one that's available in the new relationship smarts plus program well it costs three hundred sixty dollars to uh, to purchase the entire program and we realize that some of you are using some of the other programs like connections and uh, while connections doesn't have a technology piece rather than having to purchase the entire three hundred sixty dollar relationship smarts plus with this you're now able to purchase just the twenty dollars for twenty dollars you get one year access to the teens technology and social media lesson same thing with the sexual decision making lesson that comes out of relationship smarts plus as well another one that we're very excited to offer is the possible selves tree activity and for any teachers who've ever used this in the old love notes program or in relationship smarts plus they will tell you that it is an incredibly powerful lesson that helps the teens and the young adults to really grasp and understand a little bit about the influences that are impacting where they're at right now and also those influences as they go into the future both in terms of general life as well as romantic relationships so that was another one that we decided to offer as kind of a standalone uh, standalone lesson so when it comes to um, our different programs one of the questions obviously is great that sounds fantastic twenty dollars absolutely I want to teach teens about um, how to safely use technology in romantic relationships how do I go about ordering it well we've made it pretty simple what you do is you would just click on the supplemental lesson that you want and then you're presented with an option of yeah add it to the cart for twenty dollars click add to the cart it's now in your cart the only steps that you have left to do is you need to either register and create a new account or log in with your old account then you're now at PayPal you put in your credit card information as soon as PayPal accepts that then the the Tizzer platform behind the scenes now gives you access to that particular program and so at that point what you do is you would log in with your username right here and your username is your email address and then your password is whatever you choose the very first time and then the Tizzer platform in the background will remember that if you ever forget it you can just say hey I forgot the password it emails it to you your username and then you're able to get access again so the next time that you log in then instead of seeing this add to cart that will have disappeared because you've actually purchased it and you'd be able to click on the teens technology and social media and while you can click on it and you can see the first page you can see that if you try to access the second page then you're going to go back to this hey you need to purchase it first here's the one year subscription after you purchase it you won't see this anymore so that's that's the way that you can purchase the uh, uh, lessons as well as the activity the activity books in order to purchase the curricula so for example let's say you'd really like to use the relationship smarts plus program you'd click on that and what you notice is that we don't have the add to cart and the reason for that instead what we what we have is our toll-free number and you're able to call us and you're able to purchase a subscription the reason is because with some of our other programs that have the student journals we want to help set it up in a way 
the licensing in a way so that you're able to meet the needs of all the students that you're going to be distributing the student journal to. And so we're able to take care of that over the phone. So those are basically the two different ways that you're able to that you're able to purchase the programs. And uh, before we actually dive in and uh, drill into one of the sample programs and see, I was just wondering first, be thinking about do you have any questions in general? And then also I think Kay has a, a poll question to to put up. Or maybe I will need to put up the poll question. Or Kay, are you able to put up the poll question? Yeah, Aaron. Okay. Yeah, no, okay, I, there you go. Aaron, why don't you show the sam how a sample lesson works? So if people want to look around on this site, how they get to a sample lesson. Okay, so we'll skip the poll question right then. Now. Right now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead. And uh, this is where it gets exciting because now I finally get to show you, all right, what does, what, what does this Dibble Digital look like? So, and actually I should go back. Everywhere, what we've done with all of our programs is we have a sample lesson in every single one of the programs to allow you to actually experience what that program looks like, and we give you the entire lesson for free. So not only everything that you need, we give you everything that you need to teach. So the PowerPoints, the, um, uh, the handouts, the access to the student journal pages, etc. The way that you get to kind of test drive this for yourself is whenever you see anything that says sample or also free, then all you need to do is you can click on it. This is, you don't need to log in. We tried to make it really simple. You don't need to log in. You don't need to give us your email address, except your firstborn child. All you need to do is just click on a, the sample lesson. Now it opens up the, uh, the Tizzer platform. Now it opens up the digital the digital lesson. And so to uh, navigate around, one of the first questions that a lot of people ask is, great, now I see it. I'm able to scroll up and down. I see how I do that so that I can read the whole thing. How do I turn the page? How do I turn the page on a digital product? Well, the way that you turn the page is simply just, if you want to go to the right, click the right. If you want to go to the left, click the left. And so while it kind of we understand that with technology, there definitely is a learning curve. Fortunately, with this particular program, it's a pretty short learning curve. But if you ever do have any questions, what we've done is we've put a quick start guide. So whenever you're inside any of our Dibble Digital programs, you'll always see this quick start guide. So if you do get lost and you're like, what do all of these different buttons mean? Well, you're able to pull this up and we have a nice little explanation for you. Uh, to help you with with that process. The other thing too is on the uh, on the main page you'll see my telephone number. I'm available to answer any technology questions uh, during regular business hours and so you can always give me a call if you run into an issue. We also have a frequently asked questions page so use those use those as well. So now you're actually in the lesson here's some of the things that you can do. First thing that I would suggest is that you download all of the different files associated with the lesson. So with the PowerPoint lesson, it's as simple as click on the PowerPoint lesson, then it starts to download onto your computer. Same thing for the handouts. All you have to do is just click on the handouts, then it will download onto your computer. Another thing that I wanted to show you was, as Kay was talking about, that we try to make it so that it's really easy to navigate to different parts of the lesson. So for example, you're reading through, you see the materials checklist that, that we have the 14 tips for the teen handout. All you have to do is just click on it. Immediately, you're able to see it. Now, if you wanted to print it out for your students, then you just hit the print button. Up pops the thing that says, for me, I'm not hooked up to a printer, but if you were hooked up to a printer, you'd be able to hit print. In this case, I'd be able to save it as a PDF file. So that's, that's a nice option to, to have as well. Then let me go back. So now I'm back into the lesson, the workbook page. We've made it so that you can access the student journal page so that you can see what the uh, what this particular student journal page looks like. And uh, and then also um, uh, this has the additional the additional handouts. 
Now on the student journal page, what I wanted to show you on that was this is this is also kind of one of the really exciting perks, the the uh, nice benefits of going digital is that when you send it to your students, so there's two ways that you can there's a number of ways that your students can access it. So number one, all you have to do is email the PDF file to your students. And the PDF files are really universal because Adobe Acrobat Reader is a free program that's installed on almost every single digital device that's out there. And when it comes to digital devices, the Pew, the Pew Group did, did some research a few years ago back in 2013 and what they found was that 95% of students have access to either a laptop or a computer at home. And in 2013, over 70% of students have a smartphone. And surprisingly, even over 60% of low-income students also have a smartphone. Now, we very much realize that not all of your students are going to be in that situation where they will have access to a digital device where they can fill out the student journal stuff. But in most cases, they probably will. And for the ones that don't, you always have access to the photocopy machine. You can print off a few pages for the kids that don't have a smartphone. And then for the other ones, here's what, here's where it gets way cool in terms of how they can fill out the student journals. So they click, you see up here in the right hand corner of Adobe Acrobat Reader is this comment section. By clicking in the comment section, they have a number of different ways that they can fill it out. One is just add the text. And so they can just type in their answers. Another option, so if you have students with disabilities, so for example, a teacher in Los Angeles School District was excited because one of her students had muscular dystrophy, well, with that student, all he has to do is click on record, place it where he wants to record, he's able to record it. Also, if you have students who, um, who English is a second language, they're having a hard time understanding, then in Adobe Acrobat, you can actually have it translated into a number of different languages. You can also, if they have a tough time with uh, literacy issues, Adobe Acrobat will actually read it to them. And so if you're interested in any of those details, just send me an email and I'd be more than happy to show you how Adobe Acrobat can help in those, in those special uh, situations. As far as the tablets and the smartphones, so this is what I was able to do with the tablet and the smartphone. Uh, very easy, once again, you just click on the comment section, then you choose the pencil, and then you're able to use your finger to just circle the different answers. Down here or on the tablets, I mean, I'm amazed at how fast a lot of these students can type on their smartphones. So they can also once again choose the option to type. The other thing that I've been very pleasantly surprised with is how accurate the speech to text uh, feature is in, uh, so for example with the iPhone or with the Android devices, you can click on that little microphone, you can just talk and probably 95% of the time it actually gets it pretty accurate in terms of what you said. So that's another way that the students can can fill out their uh, student journals. So that's the uh, that's how they can actually uh, that's how they can uh, fill out the student journals. Let's go back to the digital product and uh, just cover a few more of the of the benefits of going digital. So as I was presenting this to the Los Angeles School District teachers, one of them, she was way over the top excited because she said, do you know how difficult it is to carry home 200 workbooks uh, to score? And she, she was excited because going digital meant that she could do everything on, on her tablet computer. So she was very excited about that. Also, the other one that I wanted to show you is what does it look like? So this is the sample lesson. You can go through the entire sample lesson, but what does it look like once you've actually purchased a product? So let's go back to the main digital. And wherever you see that heart, you can click on that. It takes you back to our main page. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm actually going to log in since I've quote unquote already purchased all of these products. Let's so log Aaron, in and then you'll be able to see the difference. Do you, want to, do you want me to launch the slide, the poll on whether people are using, sending their yeah. materials uh, to yeah, students via that, email? Ready. Okay. That, if that's ready, let's do that right now. Yeah. So what we're asking you is, uh, do you transmit your 
uh, let's say student work to them via email or through a server, you know, not through a print. Um, okay, so it looks like we'll close the poll in just a couple of minutes. It looks very close to the former and that our last poll, and that is that um, most people, a few people are, are doing the electronic transmission to students to complete and most are not. But we probably are shaking our heads and saying, you know, this time is coming. So good to know that, that this is new to many people. So that'll help us as we continue on. Okay, Aaron. Go. And that is, I mean, we are all very much in good company because I can't remember if Kay mentioned this, but as she has talked with other very large publishers around the country, and she's asked them, hey, how are you guys doing this? And they just kind of shake their heads and go and, and say, well, we're just kind of figuring it out as we go along. So this, there is a tremendous amount of potential when it comes to digital and uh and slowly but surely we're going to get there, but very much the writing is on the wall. A lot of the school districts are starting to say, yeah, we just don't have the budgets anymore to do the print, and so we are going to be going, we are going to be going digital. So let's take a look at, you've purchased the product, let's see what some of the differences are. And what you're going to find is that for the most part, there's not very many differences between the sample product, between the sample lesson that you saw versus the real product. And the reason why is because we really wanted to give you a really good idea of, of, what it, of what it actually looks like. One difference, though, is let's say you were interested in teaching on a particular, particular topic that day, like, let's say, bullying. And uh, so you could type that in. What it's going to do is it's going to search all of the lessons, every single one of the lessons. And then down here, it will give you kind of just a sneak preview of what that particular part of the lesson says and then you can click on that particular uh, lesson and it will take you directly to that page. So that's a nice feature to have. Also if you purchased a number of our different programs it will search all of the programs which is another nice nice feature to have. Kay also mentioned how it, we've now included the ability for you to just click on the link so rather than having because that's a pretty long link and when it comes to long links if you mess up just one letter uppercase lowercase it's not going to work versus with the digital product I click on the link and it opens up the website which is a very nice very nice and then I'm able to click play and we'd be able to listen to Tony Porter give his his talk about a call to men so that's another one of the nice uh, benefits about going digital and uh, let's see. And then I guess the last, the last one came mentioned it a little bit, but I'll reiterate it. And that is the ability that we now have because with some of these videos, sometimes videos change. Sometimes the authors find even better videos that will resonate even better with your students. We're now able to make that change so that from the time the author sends it to me and says, hey, Aaron, I found an even better video than the one by Tony Porter. Within 30 minutes, I can have it up. And once you purchase one of the digital licenses, then you'll have access to that new information. So, for example, about a year ago, we did a complete revision on the Relationship Smarts Plus program. Had you purchased a digital license from us two years ago, then you would have access to all of the new information versus somebody who purchased a paper copy from two years ago. Well, you still have the old paper copy. And so that's another that's another great benefit that we have with the with the digital. And then lastly, I'll just say that as I've I've now trained over 300 teachers on how to use our digital products, the the teachers in Oklahoma, the teachers in the Los Angeles School District, and uh, Basically, the teachers fall into two camps. There's the one camp that is so excited about the digital, can't wait to use it, and uh, they're thoroughly enjoying it. And then there's also the camp that says, hey, the paper's worked for me. I like the paper. And uh, what we want to do is we want to meet your needs. So if you fall into the camp of, hey, I prefer paper, fantastic. We will continue to work with our printer, provide you with the, with the hard copy version. If you fall into the camp of, I absolutely love my tablet computer, I love being able to 
present PowerPoint presentations, walk around the classroom. I have my tablet in my hand. It's able to wirelessly throw the PowerPoint slide over to the projector. I'm able to look at my notes. If you're that kind of teacher that's excited about that technology, then we now have the tool for you. So basically, our goal at the Dibble Institute is we want to help meet your needs, whatever they may be. And so, okay, I guess that's everything that I have. So if there are any questions, we'd be happy to, to answer your questions now. Actually, I don't know if Kay, I think Kay's maybe muted, so I'll take a look at the questions. Okay, I just unmuted myself, figuring this out. So oh, we have a question okay. here, Aaron. There we go. Um, my, we have a, a, someone who attend, is attending whose agency purchased the Relationship Smarts curriculum earlier. Do they have access automatically to Digital Dibble because of their purchase? And I can, I can start this one. Uh, right now we're seeing these as two different products. There's a print product and there's a digital product. So there's not uh, simultaneous access unless you purchase both. Um, we do have, a, we will at the end of this broadcast, give everyone a 30-day uh, review a copy for free. Uh, for, so for, for 30 days, so if you'd like to request that, we'd be happy to supply that. But right now, uh, we're keeping them, we see them as separate products. And I would very much add that one of the benefits of purchasing the digital is, like I mentioned before, if we do a full revision, then you don't need to you don't need to send us any more money for the for the new revision. You get access to absolutely everything the minute that it shows up. Versus with the with the paper copy, uh, we're just not able to like like Kay said, we're a nonprofit, and it'd be great if we had a huge endowment, but we don't, and so. Uh, we need to charge for our products in order to continue to provide you with this great material. Okay, we have another question. Uh, this is one of those happy problems people have from time to time. With so many curricula, which do you suggest for pregnant or parenting teens support group? Um, and really, our, our main we have we have a couple of products that work really well. One, it depends on how in depth you want to get. Love Notes is probably the premier product for pregnant and parenting teens. It's also in digital dibble. Um, and it's specifically designed for young adults and young parents. So it, it really addresses I'm a I'm a mom or I'm a dad and how do I organize my love life in a way that supports my goals and supports my children and moving forward and and, and all that. We also have uh, Money Habitudes for Young Adults, which is a, it's, it's not a, it's a precursor to financial literacy. So it's the behavioral part of money and, and relationships. And we have one just for young adults, which is for at-risk populations. And that's very popular with, with, um, with young parents because they have, you know, obviously they have lots of things to think about there. Um, so let me, uh, any other any other questions here? Okay. Well, let me. Change it. We're going to change it back to me. Okay. I think now you just need to click OK because I did yeah. send it to you. Okay. I think I'm good. There we go. So once again, we think that this um, this platform has a lot of benefits for people, especially those who are, you know, have access to, you know, you have to have an internet connection at the time, so you can't do this in a cave. But um, if you have internet access and you want the the convenience of being able to pull it up on your uh, computer or to go into um, to be able to have it upgraded automatically, then this is really for you. And especially if you're in a situation where that's what your your organization is expecting, like schools are so many these days. So let's see. So at the at the end of this webinar, uh, we will be giving you a, a brief post-webinar survey. That's where you can tell us what program you'd like to review for 30 days, and we will make that happen as our thank you gift to you. And um, we'll also be archiving this webinar uh, in the next couple days and putting it online. So and you will get that link. 
Um, if you do order print materials, uh, we also have uh, our traditional 10% off or our, uh, free shipping, which is 10% off um, if, as you check out. So happy to get the FedEx trucks rolling in your direction there. And there's many ways to keep in touch. Uh, we especially uh, encourage you to subscribe to our newsletter. Well, we're on Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, go check out our website. And as Aaron showed you, it's not hard to get from the website to our digital Dibble uh, area or Dibble Digital. And it's always, you'll notice that our, on this, our heart was changed from red to purple. So whenever you see a purple uh, heart on our website, you know you're in the digital space. That's how we kind of keep it up. So two announcements. In December, uh, we take, uh, we allow you to choose uh, what the webinar of your choice to go back over the last 11 months, see if there's something you missed or something that might help you or might be useful. So we will not be having a regularly scheduled webinar, but we hope that everyone goes back and looks um, at earlier webinars. We had some great ones this year, one with Kathy Eden, which was especially wonderful. And then in January, our webinar will be on um, marriage, healthy marriage relationship and responsible fatherhood grantees and some of their success stories. So that's on January 14th. Uh, we don't have the invitation ready yet, but as soon as we do, we will certainly invite you to it. So if there's no other questions, and if we haven't your que answered your question, we will be in touch with you. Um, so if there's no other questions, Oops, there we went. Then we will um, <laughs> thank you so much for attending, and we'll um, we'll see you next month. Thanks so much. Bye bye.